Good morning lads, 1.18 is right around the corner, so I'm going to do a little bit of prepping and to welcome the new update. So what I'm going to start with today is turning this into a 3x2 piston door or 2x3, not sure which way you're supposed to say it, but turn this to a piston door and just hollow out the ground till we find all the bedrock because in 1.18 all the bread rock should turn into deep slate which is super awesome so i'm going to go ahead and do the piston door and hollow out the area and then welcome the update that's all finished everything's wired and ready to go just a very simple door nothing complicated just pistons pulling the blocks apart seems a little laggy though it's better but then that just leads down a hallway into this little room which is just full of bedrock for now let's go ahead and hop into 1.18 and see if everything worked smoothly here we are officially in 1.18 so an instant notice is the difference in that glass there. That is different and that is interesting. Don't know if I like or dislike, but it is different. Oof. It's also a bit laggy because all the new blocks that have to be added. Um, it should also be that now Mobs can only spawn in light level zero, so I can get rid of all an extra lights. Cause this is light level five. So even though it's extremely dark here, five is way lower than what it used to be. It should be impossible for mobs to spawn in this room still. So we'll see if anything ends up spawning there, but it shouldn't. But most importantly, did the bedrock get removed? Yes, it did. It has been completely replaced with deep slate. Very, very cool. So now with this newfound depth, I'm going to make a staircase going all the way down to the bottom. We'll see if we find any caves on the way, but I'll do that off camera because that's boring. Here we are at the bottom. I'm at Y negative 59 or negative Y 60. And here is bedrock. Just interesting to note that the bedrock is, it formed differently. So normally it was, as you saw in the little sample up there, it was a bit sporadic, but this seems a bit more flat. Don't know if that's just this tiny bit that I uncovered here or if that's going to be normal. But here's just a bit of scale of how far down I've come. Oops. Did I miss a block? Nope. The lag has not stopped and I figured it out. Optifine uh, use, helps use my GPU to load a lot of the chunks, but I haven't been able to get Optifine up and running yet. So this is I'm not using my GPU to help load things. So there's the depth and wow, this lag is really bad, but so cool. Now I can start working on the room, which was the whole point in coming down this far. So lots of space. Yep. Thank you Mojang for giving us so many new, so much more space to work with. Now, a time lapse of working on the room. Real quick, before we jump into the time lapse, I just wanted to point out that Optifying is fixed and so is the glass. So it actually looked quite horrific upstairs. So I might show you photos at the end of the video before and after, but this glass texture is just so much better. Into the time lapse.
this has been quite the project. We've got quite a few shulker boxes in places. I'm going to have to end up getting a huge array of chests. Because this project is turning out to be a lot bigger than I thought. I know I wanted it to be grand, but without Instamind, this is going to take a very long time. So this is the height of the ceiling that I want. And then if we go up here, we can clean up our shulker boxes, as well as see the width and length. So that will be the full width. And yeah, this, this place is absolutely massive. So we've got this pattern going all the way around and it will continue over here. So this is only half dug out this way. So you can see it all looking this way. It will also look the same looking this way is what I'm saying. And it will all have this depth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely massive completely insane and then at each of the well this room's large enough to house some absolutely magnificent things but then at each of the four intersections there will be doorways leading to epic rooms which I'm super excited about I'm also curious to see how many blocks I'm gonna end up with so there are there is a bit of cave system here so that will be blocks that I won't receive, but I also don't, also don't have to dig them, so I'm really not complaining. And then, I think, yeah, this is almost the finish. I think we'll come back like one or two more, but did find one of the new 1.18. Just absolutely massive cave systems, which is apparently in a slime chunk. But, yep, I think... I'll do a little bit more time lapse. I'm not sure. I was planning on doing a whole half in a time lapse, but I think that might take too long. Right now I'm recording at one frame a second in the time lapse. So I haven't actually looked to see how that's going to end up playing out, but we'll. If it's not too long, we'll see how much we can record. But this is taking a lot of time. Let's just get back to more digging.
Optifine bugged again. So when I was repairing my tools, I get to see the lovely glass and all its ugliness. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go fix Optifine. I just wanted you to see the difference in the glass textures. So this is it with out Optifine. And this is it with. Not only do I like this glass so much better, but also I can move my mouse with, I guess it's stuttering now because I just loaded the world, but without it stuttering normally, well, the lag is just a thousand times a bit less. So, the pros. But now that I've got all of my pickaxes Uh, what do you call it? Mended? That's a good word. I'll show you what I have left to do down here. Worth it. So I went ahead and moved the beacon. Don't know if you s saw that or lot. not in the latest time lapse. But obviously this is half. So this whole area is going to be half and then the other half I'm definitely not doing this video. The other half will be over there. That will end up being next video, or if I'm so sick of mining, it won't be for a couple weeks. But this is all that I have left, is this bit here. Still many hours of work. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it all finished. There are big gaps, so maybe. But we'll see how much I sleep tonight, and if I get it finished, this will be one last time lapse. See if I get it done. happy I didn't think I was gonna be able to accomplish that tonight but it is all carved out and finished it only took a couple more hours I don't even want to tally how many hours it's taken to hollow out all of this this is a very large room I also I'll save it for next week's video to see actually how many ores I got, that's my toolbox, how much deep slate I got, I think, okay that one's empty, the rest are full, yep, not only are all those full, but these three 
are full. These shulker boxes are full. So, very happy that this half is accomplished. Um, yep, definitely, definitely very happy with what has been accomplished. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, all the YouTube things. And before I sign off, let me fix this. Because, oh no. I believe that the, that is a count of three. Yep, yep it is. And it's supposed to be a count of four. Which means, <laughs> oh this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Oh, I hate noticing things when I'm finished. Oh, yep. Because now that makes this three, so I'm going to have to go through every single one. And make it the proper size. Wait, there's hope. This one is five. Good, so I only have to fix it all the way up to this point, because I miscounted twice. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought the door lined up right. Oh well, that will be fixed next week. Thank you for watching, and good night. <laughs>